We're live. Larry Bailey, Mortgage Workflow Partners. It's Tuesday and it's July 25th, 2023, 4 p.m. Eastern. We meet, or at least I try my best to meet every Tuesday, 4 p.m. Eastern, every Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern uh, here in the mortgage community, a.k.a. Mastering and Compass. AKA I'm working on like three hours sleep because I was in Oahu, Hawaii, uh, this time yesterday. I don't even know what time that was yesterday. Anyway, if I start to babble, just kind of smack me around a little bit and, uh, I'll wake up. I promise. Um, thanks everybody for coming to these events every Tuesday and Thursday. Always love seeing everybody. Um, if you are watching this on replay or you're listening to this to audio, Get your butts over to the community, sign up. It's free, it's open to everybody, anybody who wants to show up. Um, we do have a topic every event. Uh, today we're gonna talk about uh, dual run AUS. These events are always about you um, as a community. So if you have any questions that you wanna go over, ask me anything, like literally anything, you wanna showcase something that you're tro- you know, you're kind of working through, um, we can bring you up on stage, virtual stage, um and uh go through it so um welcome to everybody uh everybody's kind of rolling in now as things are going so as we're getting set up and we're in the first minute here does anyone have any questions that they want to talk about anything at all if you do let me know if you want to come up on stage um if you just want to ask go ahead and use the chat feature we can get to it um before i get into the big topic Always remember to keep to get over to the community. So if um, again, if you're just if you're kind of on the uh, if you're not part of the community, that's me up there. That'll be kind of annoying to watch. But anyway, hop over to the uh, the events. We had some important updates. Um, I pulled in over the weekend. So tonight there is a, a critical patch. I actually have a client that's getting this error, um, and it has to do with the e-consent agreement. So if you haven't had this happen to you, uh, kudos. If you have had it to happen to you, um, ICE is aware of it, and they're patching this up tonight at some point. Tonight is always specific time, so um, be aware of that. I posted that earlier, and then um, there was something else too that happened that I posted up. Oh, there was like a um, uh, another piece with with the Adobe. Uh, so Amy, thanks. I'm going to cheat and go over here to Amy's comment earlier. Uh, so we had about the Adobe. Um, Acrobat. I've been seeing this a lot. I don't know if this is just me or just my luck, but I've been seeing more and more Adobe issues. Um, I actually have Adobe running full license on my side. And no matter what I tell it to do, the Adobe platform, it still auto updates. Uh, I've been knock on wood. I've been fortunate enough to not have Encompass go um, kaput on me. Um, I guess I'm just lucky, but yeah, make sure you, you keep track. There's um, there's some Adobe work work through here um, with regards to the registry keys. Uh, so for those that are just rolling in, again, today's topic is all about dual run AUS. Maybe that's important to you. Uh, maybe it's not, and you just thought it was interesting. Um, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and throw them in the chat. If you, uh, if you don't have any questions, you just wanna camp out and check things out. Uh, that's cool too, but this is all about collaboration. So, um, first thing I'll do is, is, uh, is anyone here on the call using on any stretch of their day, um, having their companies use LO connect for anything, like even if it's just to have an LO go and e sign, or even if it's just to have an LO go and check on pipeline views or locks or make a pricing request, is anybody using that at all? Um, because although, you know, Elo Connect's been around for a while, if you haven't checked it out recently, um, you should, right? So this update we're going to go through today is actually done almost over a year ago. Um, but it's not that it's not talked about that much. Um, so I thought it was uh, I thought it was a good topic to bring back. Uh, Steve, uh, Steve Ed says, I am not. We currently use a third party platform called Simple Nexus. Yeah, I think I heard of Simple Nexus. I'm actually trying to to. Um, um, uh, same with, uh, with us that, so my thing with simple nexus, and it's a thing, uh, I've said about, I've said it about this before. And, and, um, what I really want to, to, um, make everybody aware is you're paying so much for technology that, 
um, in Simple Nexus, it's like a cross between a POS and a doc management platform and some other notification stuff. Um, and, and really what um, I want to really uh, invoke here is let's look at native functionality to see how far we can take it before we start looking elsewhere, um, especially for eSign, because this leads into e-closings, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, you know, but right now it's it's really uh, it's really important. Let's let's go through this. But before we get into it deep, um, this is this is my five minute mark. So this is what I'm, I'm cutting it off for everybody watching this preview. Head over to the community for a full walkthrough um, and uh, of the video, full view of the video, and you can check it out. Join the community; it's free.